protests by inhabitants of Madaho and Arutan communities in Wari Southwest local government, Delta State, following the arrival of security men who search houses for hidden weapons. Some aggrieved inhabitants of the affected communities expressed displeasure over the Mopok exercise and backed on by the security men. They lamented the exercise as disrupted the peace of the area. There is no development in this land. Just because we say we need development, we want our community to be developed. We want this community to, the youth of this community to be empowered. That is the reason why they chase all of us from Ogidigben, Ajudaibo to Odiborodo. They call you intimidators every day. There's no good job. There's no good living. We are not fighting against anybody. Yes. But we need peace in our land. Yes. We need development. development we need our, our youth to be established. Yes. Our men are not working. Yes, they are bringing people from Lagos to yes. do the work for us. We don't have anything because any hospital. If anything happens to one of us here, they will not want us to worry. Before you look, before they go to worry, we have already died. The operation, which lasted for several hours, was led by the commanding officer, NNS Delta, Captain Musa Gemu. The commanding officer said the federal government gave the directive to mop up the area to checkmate activities of oil thieves and other security challenges in the area. Our mission today is to ensure that we talk to the youth or members of the community generally to surrender all the weapons they have in their possession. Captain Gemu lamented constraints faced by the command in fighting crime in the Niger Delta. We don't have adequate sh number of ships and gunboats to be able to police the waters. He called on the federal government to supply the command with sophisticated weapons in order to battle oil thieves in the Niger Delta region. William Siam reporting.